Hey, it was a horrible flight, but I'm at the house now. Priya's in bits, and Akil's making everything about him. No change there. I just want it to be over. I hope you guys are OK, love, Jay. Oh, what a nightmare. I don't envy him one bit. Oh, hey. Hey. Oh, hi, love. Thought you'd be in India by now. Oh, uh, yeah, so did I, but Archie had a bit of a meltdown, so we thought it was best that I stayed with the kids. Oh. Well, look, at least it gives me a chance to apologise for yesterday. Last thing I'd ever want to do is disrespect Uncle Rush's memory. I hope Jay knows that. Oh, he does. And I'm really sorry about the way he spoke to you. He's just, you know, under a lot of pressure at the moment. Oh, I get it. But, hey, you've dodged a bullet staying behind. Our family can be an absolute nightmare mm. when they're all together. Really? Oh, yeah. En masse, it is a right onslaught. Uh, when's the actual funeral? Tomorrow. Well, then, I'm, I'm just putting this out there because you're my best friend and I love you, but... Are you sure you've done the right thing, letting Jay go out there all on his own? Well, we didn't feel like we had much choice. It's just if there was ever a time he might need a bit of moral support, it's now. So? You thought about it? About what? The plan. Look... I know you're trying to think of ways to keep us together, but running away is not the answer. Why not? Dad, it's literally the only option we have left. It's not that simple. We wouldn't be able to lead normal lives. We'd have fake names, no bank account, no jobs. And your future would be completely wiped out. It'll be worth it. What about Esther? What if she got ill? How would she see a doctor? I don't know, Dad. We'll just work it out. <sighs> At the end of the day, we're not the kind of people who run away. We won't survive. We're not really the type of people that'd survive prison. Have you actually thought about what it's going to be like in there? It's difficult to think about anything else. So why are you choosing it over us? Oh, there's seats available on a flight this afternoon from Manchester. What time? 5.30, so you'll need to be in the airport around 3-ish. So, what are you thinking? I don't know. I mean, obviously, it feels weird, me being here and Jay in India, having to deal with the funeral and goodness knows what. I mean, every part of me wants to be out there with him. And you can be. I'm still more than happy to take the kids for a few days. I know, but losing Rishi has really affected Archie. He's had so much grief in his life, and... Oh, I just... I just don't know whether I can leave him. How was it this morning? Well, his temperature was down, and... and he was OK, actually. He's a tough kid. He'll be absolutely fine with us. OK, I'm going to talk to Archie. If he's OK with it, then... looks like I'm going to India. <laughs> There he is. How'd you get on yesterday? Yeah, good. No problems at all. Great. You know, I've been thinking. You were right about blackmailing me into giving you this job. Was I? Yeah. yeah it shows initiative. What do you make it, Corey? Seems all right. Yeah. No, I can't make my mind up about him. See, the previous owner, you reckon that he might be up to no good? I wouldn't know. I want you to keep an eye on him for me. You report back if you notice anything, yeah? I don't see this in my job description. No, it's not. But it's a perfect opportunity for you to gain my trust. And if you do a good enough job, we'll see about raising your wages. Oh, hey, Gabby. Hi. You all right? You seem a bit... Yeah, everything is great. My life is just one brilliant moment after another. Oh, not another running with Nicky. No, but it's nice to be reminded of him every five minutes. No, I just... I hate that he's not your confidence. You're such a catch, you can have any man you want. Isn't that right, Billy? Yeah. Well, I don't think I'm going to trust my judgement ever again. I nearly married a gay man. I was this close to becoming my mother. Not every man's going to be like Nicky. Yeah, and not everyone needs a man to be happy. I'm perfectly fine by myself, thanks. 